Hello again. Um, I'm going to go over some dimensional analysis or unit analysis practice problems. I'm going to go through um, three problems for you and hopefully you can get an idea of the best way to do this. Now the first thing I need you to understand is that there's no set way for dimensional or unit analysis problems. Some people choose to put things in a fewer number of steps. Some people choose to put it in a longer number of steps. It's just a per personal preference, but the answer should come pretty much the same. There may be an issue in rounding when you're doing multiplication, but it should be about the same. So when looking at the first problem, how many centimeters are in 900 feet, the first thing you've got to realize is that it's only giving you one number. So that's the only number that you can start with. So you're going to begin your problem with 900 feet, and you're trying to get to centimeters. So feet to centimeters, you have to think about making some kind of connection. If it's me, uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to go from feet to meters, and then meters to centimeters, and that's where I'm going to kind of end it. And again, some people may choose to do it in a shorter fashion, but that's not going to be me. So I'm trying to get rid of, I'm starting with my feet, and I want to get rid of feet, and I want to change it to meters. So that's how I'm going to do that. My feet were in the numerator on the left. They're going in the denominator on the right. Which one is larger? Well, my meter is larger. So I'm going to give that a value of 1. So 1 meter equals a certain number of feet. And if my memory serves me correctly, it's going to be 3.3 feet. Okay, well, that's cool. I've got meters, and I'm trying to go to centimeters. I want to get rid of the meters, so my meters are in the numerator on the left, so I put them in the denominator on the right, and I want to end up with centimeters, so I put it in the numerator. A meter is larger than a centimeter, and a meter is equal to 100 centimeters, so I fill in my numbers. Before I start multiplying anything, I do need to make sure that I've got it set up correctly, so I check my units. I analyze my units to see that they're what they should be. Feet cancel, meters cancel. All right, so I'm looking good. I'm left with centimeters. That's what I want. That's at least a decent start. So I've double-checked on my units. I've got my units the way I need them to, to be. And so now I take my numbers. So I have my 900 times 1 times 100 in my numerator. And then I have my denominator, which equals out to be 3.3. When I do that division, I should have 27,272.727. I'm going to round that to 0.73, and that's going to be centimeters. Now, that seems like an awfully large number, but if you think about it, you have 900 feet, which is an awful long way, and you're trying to measure it out in little tiny centimeters, which is about that big. So would it take about 27,000 of them? I guess it would but the number is reasonable. Okay, so for a second example, it says how many seconds are in a century? So this requires you to know a couple of things. First of all, what is a century? A century is going to be 100 years. So like centimeter, it stands for a hundredth or one one hundredth. Well, you're going to have a hundred years in a century. So you've got 100 years, and we want to change it to seconds. So I look at that, and I go, okay, well, I don't know how many steps I really want to take, so I'm going to try and put this down into something easy. I'm going to go from years to, years to days first. So I'm going to use year at the bottom, and I'm going to put a day up top, and we're not going to count leap year because, well, we're just not going to. And a year is longer than a day, so one year is going to be 365 days. And let's go from days to hours. So I'm going to go days to hours. One day gives me 24 hours. And I'm going to just go ahead and skip it because I'm running out of time. And I'm going to go hour to seconds. And that's going to end up with my answer in seconds. So one hour, if you remember back before, is not 60, but it's 3,600 seconds. So you have to check on me because, well, I make mistakes. So my years cross-cancel, my days cross-cancel, my hours cross-cancel. I'm left with seconds. That's what I wanted, I think, yes, and that's what it's asked me for there. So now I'm left with my numbers only, and I'll put those in a different co color. So I've got 100, 
times 365 times 24 times 300 or 3,600 and that's all over 1. So when I multiply all of that together I get this huge ginormous number so it's three one five three six zero 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 seconds. I don't even know what that comes out to be. It's huge. So I can leave my number in that form and that's going to be correct but I'm going to put it in a more usable form which ties in scientific notation. So it's going to be 3.536 times 10 to the something and it's going to be a positive exponent because well it's a very large number. So I'm going to count. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those two numbers are one and the same. So that would be how to do the second example. Okay, so for our third example, I'm going to take a common conversion that would have to be done, I guess, if you were traveling in Europe. We're used to miles per hour. Well, they don't use that in Europe, so you're going to use kilometers per hour. And when you really look at it, you're only making one conversion because you're still dealing with the same time unit. So now you've got 55 miles per hour. And I want to go to kilometers. So I'm going to go from mile and I'm going to make it into meters because that's going to be an easier conversion. One mile equals 1,600 meters, like we said in track. If you run the 1,600, you ran the mile. And bless you if you did, because that's too much for me. But I want to get rid of meters, and I want to go to kilometers. So my one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. And remember, we still have to deal with that hour, but we'll add the hour in. We'll add it back in in just a second because we're really just trying to deal with the distance first. So I double check, miles cancel, meters cancel, I'm left with kilometers, and now I can reinsert my time. So I'm left with just my numbers, and that's going to be 55 times 1600 times 1, all over 1,000. Once I've run my numbers, that ends up being 88 kilometers per hour. And that is your last example for dimensional analysis. I hope this was helpful. Have a good night. Bye.